channel. I am your girl Elise. I am the founder of Letters for Life and I am back with the videos. I took a little time off, you know what I'm saying? I did because if you didn't know, I was deployed for the military so that was the reason why. However, I am back and I am better, baby. Um, I definitely want to just go ahead and start by saying that I do want to expand Letters for Life. I know usually I kind of zone in on just, you know, faith-based videos and that's good and that's, you know, it's amazing. I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. However, there's different parts of me and I love natural hair and I love finding your purpose and I love, you know, working out and meal prepping and stuff. So that's why I kind of wanted to just expand Letters for Life as far as the videos um, and just kind of reach out and branch out outside of my comfort zone. So today... So go ahead and start off this new year. What perfect video then to talk about a vision board. So I have basically used the same vision board from last year. And all I'm going to do is just kind of reuse it. <laughs> um, it is a vision board that I created myself, actually. So what happened was it was just a blank canvas. And I just kind of put some ribbons on it to just kind of vamp it up a little bit and I've just been taking off stuff from 2019 that's why it looks like that I took off all the stickers I've been taking off everything just so we can start off the new year in a fresh slate I'm gonna use the same vision board um, you know you can come up with a new one if you want to but I'm just gonna reuse the same canvas and so that's all I've been doing it's just kind of taking off stuff taking off old stickers and just making room for 2020 I'm gonna use different things for my vision board I have a lot of stuff that I was using for scrapbooking and I'm just going to go ahead and reuse those um, some of them are just like little backgrounds I have little stickers um, I have sayings I have quotes and I'm going to use those I'm also just going to use uh, just a regular um, glue gun just to make sure it holds up I'm going to use some scissors and then I'm also just going to use just some regular tape to start off my vision board, I like to just go ahead and plan out my year. The way I know everything else is important, but this is what I really zone in on because these are the goals that I'm trying to accomplish, things that I want to get done. And I think it's important to just go ahead and have those in the middle because I know that at the end of the day, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. And so I'm going to go ahead and write those out. So now that I have my goals, I'm just going to go ahead and place them right here in the middle. My one year goals include getting more involved in my community, um, working out, eating healthy, obtaining my master's degree, being debt free. OK, um, I want to apply for my officer job and I want at least a thousand subscribers on YouTube and just getting in more uh, purposeful activities as far as me building Letters for Life. And it's so important to set goals. You know, it says, talks about how in the Bible, you have to write the vision out and make it plain. And that's why I love, you know, vision boards. And also I just love goal setting period. And just seeing it every day, because I'm also gonna put this in a place I'll actually look at every day. It's just gonna make it even more easier for me to be able to keep the goals. y'all go so I want to know what y'all what y'all trying to accomplish in 2020 I know a lot of people have health goals and that's definitely very important too taking care of your body 
what you're putting in. I know I'm definitely health conscious, but I think I can always do better. There's always room for improvement. Um, also, you know, just working out. Um, I actually really love working out, so it's really not too bad, but I realize also when I'm super busy, um, I sometimes can slack on it, but I definitely want to, you know, be more consistent in that area. As far as being debt free, <laughs> listen, Linda, listen, I'm trying to get these bills paid, okay? In 2020, we are being debt free. And I've actually come really close to it. So I feel like it's, you know, I feel like it, it's, it's possible. Your girl had a lot of student loans, you know, Sally May tried to hold me back. But, you know, Jesus was like, I have better for you. So I'm definitely trying to go ahead and get these, these student loans. That's my biggest bill is student loans. Um, I definitely want to start taking care of, um, like, I want clear skin, completely clear skin. Um, in 2020 as well, um, I definitely struggle with acne from time to time and I have a breakout and I'm definitely, you know, I'm just trying to get clear skin and healthy hair. So my goal is for my hair is to kind of switch to using all natural products. I'm not saying I give up my shampoo. I'm still going to shampoo my hair. However, I want to start dibbling, dabbling in, you know, just natural hair things that are really good for your hair so I'm talking about like clay washes um, starting to make my own you know little deep conditioners trying different things out of my hair aloe vera trying out just stuff that I feel like would be really good for my hair I want to get back to my local community so I have always been big into volunteering always but when I deployed I had to take a break from it and so now that I'm back I want to get back into that and I'm just trying to zone in on my spiritual journey this year is all about focus that is my my my, my focus <laughs> my focus in 2020 is being focused I can get distracted I can definitely be easily off off my guard and I am that's my word for this year if I could choose one saying one word it would be to be Focus, zoned in, laser focus on my purpose, on my calling. I'm not getting off my balance. And you know, that's been a little struggle, but I'm definitely am trying to zone in and just, you know, be all about my purpose. One of my goals was to reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And so this YouTube thing was a little scary for me just because I don't know. I was I was recording videos. I've been recording videos, but I was never like a YouTuber, you know. But I love YouTube. <laughs> like I genuinely can watch YouTube all day. Like most people watch TV, I watch YouTube. Like literally all day I could do it. And so I was like, why don't you just go ahead and put your stuff up there? And God has been showing me like I want you to do this. And I'm like, but Jesus, I'm scared. You know, I'm scared to put my stuff on out there. Um. Like, what if nobody subscribed to my channel? <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? You don't do it for people. You do it for God. It's all for his glory, baby. And so, you know what? Even if you don't get no subscribers, even though I'm not claiming that over my life, um, it's all for God's glory. And he knows and he sees everything. So, that's that. I want to vamp up Letters for Life. I've been definitely kind of in the process of not really redoing the website, but just adding some features, taking off some stuff I feel like wasn't really necessary. Um, and I'm definitely going to start incorporating Letters for Life, um, you know, in just different avenues and different areas. You won't be being mine. We should be closer than friends. Uh. If you open uh, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open uh. Take that high road and hop in. Uh. Open up.
So we are done with the vision board. This is it. This is all everything I have up on it. I'm going to quickly just kind of explain it. Um, this quote says, the key to whether we win or fail is how we choose to soar. This is Turn Your Wounds Into Wisdom by Oprah Winfrey. This is just a scripture. Treat yourself special beauty. Houses, no fear. Shine, delight. Friends, laugh big. You, um, treat yourself. Delight, crown. I have my goals right here in the middle written out i have air force i have my letters for life logo i also have i can do all things through christ who strengthens me yes um you got this sis don't let dream killers kill your dream just different words down here get outside um thoughtful raise the bar hope beautiful i have ndre i have faith i have air force stuff throughout here as well and i absolutely love creating vision boards i feel like it's definitely an amazing way just to reach your goals. I'm going to definitely put this in my bedroom so I can look at it every single day and remind myself of my goals. Hopefully this helps. If you have a vision board, if you have goals, please comment below so I can go ahead and look at your goals. We can build a community of people who are trying to reach their goals in 2020. We can hold each other accountable. Let me know how you do your vision board. I've seen a lot of different vision boards on YouTube. People do like digital vision boards now. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've seen people do it like in a picture frame. Um, for me, I just do it old fashioned. I just like to go ahead and just cut out and paste it so I can actually put my hands on it. You know, I like to touch stuff. So that's just how I do it. Um, if you need encouragement, you know somebody else that needs encouragement, please, please, please write into my foundation, www.letusflife.net. As always, I love you. Most importantly, though, God loves you. I hope you have an amazing day and God bless.